What's up, Explorers? Today we're inside our first ever abandoned police station. There are abandoned police stations around. I just never got to them. There was one I really wanted to do that had some reason coffins inside, but that place got burnt down. So I'm inside this one. It's really cool. I'm with a squad, of course. Um, the thing about this is like, there's not too much history to really talk about. Really, like, it's just a police station. It wasn't anything like crazy and, and new or, or, or like lost history. But it's still a police station, and this police station closed down in 2012. What's cool about this is that this place is also untouched. This place does have jail cells, and there's so much lead paint in here. It's, it, everything's chipped. Everything's chipping. It, it, it's, it's actually really cool. It's really hot. <laughs> it is super hot. Let's go. So right off the bat, we've already seen people's information, so... I mean, there's a lot of people's information inside this place, so I'm trying my best not show much. So I don't want no one's name to be leaked out here. But there's a lot of information here. Just as much as some of those state schools that we've seen back in the day, people just never end up throwing their information away. Yeah, dude, people's legit information, like, is all right here. I mean, this information, who cares? Like, these people are wanted. Yeah, oh, yeah, they're straight wanted? Yeah. These are like, this is like the watch list. Oh yeah, dude, they're looking out trying to find these guys. Mm -hmm. I found yeah. another I found another room in here before where there was uh it was showing like people they caught, uh people who either are dead now. Some pictures of police marches. Um I'm also assuming that someone died and they just you know held a memorial for them. They're marching. Right now I'm reading some of the people who are wanted for crimes. One person, uh, some girl is uh been arrested with young money members. Some kind of gang. So there's a lot of gang, a gang stuff, and why they're arrested for a lot of armed robberies, shootings. This is all the most wanted list. Like it's actually pretty crazy to see this thing. It's yeah. still intact. This guy is known as Rockhead, and he's part of Young Money Crew too. So everyone's out here doing their thing. This guy has been in and out a lot. <laughs> it's the same guy's mugshot, but just different times. He's been in jail so many times, or at least arrested. Yeah, look, he's like sleeping right here. <laughs> oh, we got a vending machine. I'm assuming like right around here was the main door. Whoa, like a blue pink light. What's on this? Damn, I'm reading a lot of these things. Drug activity over here, high school dismissal, gang curfews, bunch of stuff on this wall. Everything on their calendar is just blank. Look at this, every room has something different. But this is actually really cool. Check out this uh, billboard, I guess. The chalkboard. If you look over here, it says weekly activity, total arrest, and guns. Problem description location, you know, a bunch of different things. Drug sales, remarks, like drug sales, re quality of life, drug sales. Just a bunch of different things is still left on this board. But then also people who were arrested and questioned were right here. You, you know that because this is the bar where you're handcuffed. You're handcuffed to this bar. One hand is handcuffed to this. Pull up your pants and pick up a book. I literally play so many video games that I relate everything to a video game. The thing about Abandon and, and all this cool stuff is that everything can relate to a video game. I really feel like I'm in like Resident Evil right now in Raccoon City inside the police station. Now like I said we did start off on the second floor. We're making our way down to the first floor. This place is not that big. But it is our first ever abandoned police station. So we had to do it. Most of these rooms are really just empty offices. But there are cells. There's holding cells here. There's actually a little mini jail here. That's where we're probably pretty much is gonna head to. Just gonna check out everything. Looks like it could be like an interrogation room. It's not, but I'm just saying. It's all empty. 
So I just found a whole bunch of keys on the wall and I actually looked more into it and a lot of these keys are actually the businesses to different places in the city. That's crazy. It's not just, you know, keys to like the police doors or the bathrooms. No, it's actually keys of some other businesses. Inside this was an oval chin gas mask. It was a face piece. Oh, it's gone. I want to see what it looked like. Yo, so what's crazy in here? Because we found it. That was pretty cool. That was insane. There's cool gas masks and stuff you'll see, bro. Oh, there's, wait, there's gas masks in here? Yeah, there's like gas masks in here. And what? Stuff. It's amazing. It's such Yo. a big police station. You wouldn't think there would be that many cells here. I can't believe this. It's amazing. This is probably the best abandoned police station. I don't know. I've never been in one, but it's just pretty mind blowing. Oh, it's, this one's locked. Oh, yeah. This well, yeah, look inside this one. After a long night of going wild and partying, you're gonna get thrown in here with everyone else. Drunk tank. Yup, the drunk tank. Yeah, like you it's said. Right Damn. Man, I love this place. This is a, seriously a gem. Yeah, this is cool. Let's pr prop it up. We'll use it as like an Instagram picture. I've actually never been in a prison or a jail cell before. Now I have. Dude, it's kind of crazy because, oh, it's over. Dude, does that really close by itself? It probably would if you went all the way, and I'd be legit trapped in here. <laughs> Dude, that would be that would be insane. That would be sad too. I'm locked out. Dude, I just can't picture myself ever like wanting to be in it. Like, just imagine you're stuck here for like mad luck. Dude, I gotta piss in front of everyone else who's right on the side of me. Never mind. Never mind number two, guys. <laughs> I'm pretty much just looping back around and around, making sure I've seen everything. And I'm also taking this all in. I mean, this is, this is something I'm not used to or never seen, like, I mean, I've only been to like one or two jails my whole life, and they were barely even good. This place is actually like crazily, like it's, it's untouched, it's mint. It's a perfect gem. Oh, that's cool. I think there's a basement here. Gonna have to check the basement out. And I think then I cleared this whole place. Christmas tree's still here. What if they close down near Christmas time? Yeah, I don't really know where the basement is, but I mean, we're looking. Dude, I thought like, that was, what is that, a flare? I think these are flares. Unless it's a dynamite. I'm just kidding, it's definitely gotta be a flare. Well, there's something else in there too. Wow, it has, it could be a med kit. Right there, that's where they kept all the guns in that cage in the back. All their shotguns, you know, whatever. Explorers, this is where we end today's video. This, I'm not gonna lie, this video had me nervous. I mean, finding a gun clip, I mean, that could be anyone's gun clip. That's, it doesn't necessarily have to be a cop's gun clip. It could have been someone's gun clip that did a murder and they threw it here. Like, you really don't know. Like, things like that happen. I mean, then you got, like, the, the holding cells, the freaking flares. I mean, there is so much going on in this uh, police station. Like I said, this is the first one I've ever filmed. If you like this video, like I said, give it a thumbs up. Wow, <laughs> this is, it doesn't end here. We're, we're gonna keep going. We still have so much videos to make. Just get out there to explore, rise above. Peace out. Thanks for watching again.